YouTube squint here. So uh, I'm doing my video upload of my packages that I just got from uh, UK Lock Pickers and uh, Don's Locks, and I couldn't help but want to try this um, curtain lever lock out. I'm not sure who makes it, but you know I got these tools in from uh, Andy Mack. And uh, I've never picked anything like it, so uh, why not, right? Let's give it a shot, see what we got. See if this American dude can get these lever locks open. All right, let me see. I'm definitely going to have to adjust you up a little bit. Um, here's what the tool looks like, kind of put together. They come with two different keys, you can see here. I um, mean, you just kind of torque the key in between the in between the bolt and the handle. Pretty neat little design, and then you stick you stick the um, I guess the key in there to catch the curtain. But before that, you also uh, you can see Andy Max initial stamped in there. It's awesome. And then you add your uh, uh, wire, the wire that come with it. So what you would do is load the wire in before you turn the before you turn the curtain, and now it's now it's set up ready to pick. The curtain um, is providing the the tension or the the key with the little grub screw. It's providing the tension on the curtain uh, to pull that back essentially, and then you use the the wire to pick the levers. Um, this I think is a five lever lock, so you know you kind of just hang on to it like this and and try to pick those levers. Let me see if I can zoom you guys in so you can see a little bit of what's going on. Oh. All right, if you guys watch right here, this will be you can kind of see the see how those levers work or the yeah the levers work up and down. So that's the gist of uh, what these tools do and, 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 and how these tools work. So we're going to see if we can get this thing open. Um, don't know tell what's going to go on, so... Very, um, what would you say? Um, you have to be very precise because the levers are just little thin pieces of metal. So, and there are false gates, like okay, so right there I hit a false gate, right? So now you kind of have to let the tension back off and start all over because. You got into a false gate. To me, that's the tricky part. Is once you get into a false gate on these, you're kind of screwed. I don't think there's any way to get out of it. Uh, from the short time that I've been playing with this, I'm sure there are a lot faster ways to get this done.
Oh, there we go. Nice. Well, I think I screwed it up. I pushed the thing all the way back in and with no key. There's no way to get those out. So, it's all good. Alright, first lever lock done. Uh, I guess I can gut this thing. Let's see what this thing... I mean, that's really, I think, the only way that we're going to be able to get that thing unlocked now. Uh, go ahead and see if I can angle you guys back around this way. Cool. All right, now that's, that's one for the books, right? Let's see what we got in, inside this puppy. Let's see how this works. Okay, screw. Another screw. All right, let's make sure nothing's going to fly out at us. Slide off. Okay, so that's what one of the levers looks like. It's just a uh, there's spring tension here on the back side of the lock. Let's see if I can show you guys what that looks like real quick. Get angle you in this way. All right, right here you can see see these little metal wires. That's the tension to keep these moving up and down. So these would be, I guess, the false gates. See these little false gates? If you get stuck in one, you have to let the tension off. So that can be kind of tricky. But let's, uh, so that's what they look like, you guys. Go ahead and put these out, see if we can pop these off. They all got numbers on them, on the backs. So this one's got like a number five. I don't know what that means. See, down here in the corner, right in the middle, number five. This one's got a number one. Maybe that's the bedding. Let me know if some of you guys that have some knowledge on these. What those little numbers are. This one looks like it's got a number two. Got a number two on it. I don't want to strain any of these wires. That's got a number two on it. This one has a number two on it. Let me know if those numbers mean anything. I mean, it could just be coincidental or or whatnot. But yeah. So let's see what else we got. Okay. So this mechanism is what slides back and forth. Oh, comes out pretty easy. It looks like the curtain pops out pretty easy. I'll have to get that line back up, but. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, essentially, that's that would be the. Uh, there's the little curtain. You guys can see that. Wipe that off a little bit. It's got some grease on it. Okay. Well, it's good to know what I'm looking at now and what, what how these things are put together. Let's see how that pops back in there. I think it just sits right on top of there. Yeah. That little piece provides attention onto the onto the curtain. Okay. Well. Doesn't look like it's, I mean, it's mechanical, but it looks like it's an easy fix since I over rotated. Now it looks like all I gotta do is put these uh, gates back on here. 
shouldn't even be too big of a, a hassle. Bend those wires back behind there. Cool. I think that's about it. Let's see if we can get this thing smashed back on there. Yeah. Nice and easy. Let's make sure that that uh, curtain turns. Yep. So you can see it wanting to put tension back on the on the lock. So we got that back in there. Well, awesome. Well, at least we didn't screw that up too much by turning it too far. So that's good news. These things are easily easy to take apart and I don't need no uh, stupid followers or anything of that such so awesome guys um, let me know what kind if you guys know what kind of uh, lever, lever lock this is it was definitely fun to pick uh, if anybody has any lever locks they want to get rid of or or uh, you know I, I'm definitely interested in in uh, trying to get more of these picked uh, that was actually pretty fun. I mean, pin tumblers are fun too, but learning something new and doing something new is definitely a uh, is definitely a fun thing. So, all right, guys. Well, that was a uh, pretty awesome lever lock to get picked, and uh, you know, I, uh, I appreciate Andy Mac for for making these tools at a decent price. Looks like quality stuff, and uh, you know, UK. Lock picker, I uh, appreciate you, uh, you know, getting a hold of me and letting me buy one of these and shipping this stuff all the way to the States. So, all right, guys, well, this is Squint, and I'll be on to the next lock.